So today I present you with easy steps towards ethical consumerism. Now, don't get me started, I know how difficult this can be, but these are a few sort of simple ideas in order to get the ball rolling and maybe not feel so daunted by a really, really difficult task. I very strongly believe that every time you spend money, you cast a vote into the world about how you want it to be. And so I think that it's important for those decisions that we can make in order to help make a difference or at least have some sort of say on what kind of market we want to be buying in. So if you're thinking about making a switch, these are maybe some things to consider or think about that will make things a little bit easier. Tip the first, don't be a jagweed. Not everyone can afford to buy locally grown organic fair trade coffee beans. Everyone's at their own place in life and not everyone has the money to be able to make some of these decisions. So. Don't think you're better than somebody just because you can buy something that is maybe what you consider to be ethical or aligns with your values. Some of these things are really, really expensive and so, you know, you're not superior by spending money on something. So, you know, don't try to convert everyone because you won't. Tip number two, list your causes. So you take your maybe one, two, three top most important things that are just your most passionate social causes. Maybe it's gender inequality, maybe it's animal cruelty, maybe it's the treatment of migrant workers. Just pick something that you think is really important that you can actually do something about. Pick the thing that means the most to you that you can make the most conscious effort to combat that's realistic. You're not going to be able to do everything, so you have to pick the things that you think this is actually attainable. For example, as much as I would like to boycott Monsanto because they are evil, I also need to eat. So that's not a thing that I can, you know, fez feasibly attain. My parents, they don't buy tomatoes because of the conditions that migrant workers work in in Leamington, Ontario. Whatever your thing is, pick it and stick with it. Tip number three, do your research. Don't believe everything an advertiser tells you because advertisements lie. So use your resources, talk to people that have used those products, read some books, read some reviews. I use PETA's website even though I hate PETA because they have a really good comprehensive list of different products that use animal testing. Maybe one company does really cool things but who are they owned by or what are their ad campaigns like or where do they give their money to? As much as the Dove Real Beauty campaign tugs at the heartstrings, the same company also owns Axe, which really reinforces stereotypes of masculinity. I could continue ad nauseum, but I'll stop there. Tip number four, find your brands. Don't settle on anything. Shop around. It's okay to not like a company even though they make other cool products. I hate the Body Shop's mascara. It's the worst. Find your price range and your level of convenience. Amazon has some really great deals and stuff that's really expensive in shops. Just do what works for you and don't be afraid to try one thing and then the other and then go back to it, whatever. Find your brands. Talk to people, but don't always believe them. Some people have really different views and really different kinds of things that they like. So that's also not a be all and end all. Uh, I'll make another video at some point with a list of all the different kinds of products that fit my sort of list of requirements and hopefully that will be sort of helpful. Tip number five and the most important one. Stop feeling guilty. As a person who is perpetually overwhelmed by guilt of not doing enough, you can't fix everything and you know if you figure out how to do that let me know. But you can't. You can't do absolutely everything so you just have to pick the small stuff and figure out what works best for you and your lifestyle and what you can afford. You just have to learn to live in a way that you can live with yourself and that you're happy every day knowing that you're doing what you can. And if you can't do anything because you can't afford it because you're a student like me or any sort of other life circumstances, that's fine. And don't judge other people just because they aren't making the same life decisions as you. That's cool. It's just one step at a time. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.